So hi everyone, every year there's something known as Google Summer of Code that comes into a picture in the month of March, but people start uh, preparing for it. You can say not preparing, but contributing for it, looking forward to this particular competitions a few months prior to the same, right? Now currently we are in September or October for somebody who is aiming at uh, getting into this particular program or maybe starting to learn about open source or starting to learn about how they can start contributing. This particular video is going to be a guide, a roadmap just me baat kar rahe honge, with Kavan. He will uh, talk, will talk about his experience ki kaise he got into this program, what all things he did, what are the benefits of this program and how can, if you want to uh, do this, how should you start, right? So this is going to be a very beginner friendly video for somebody who is planning to uh, uh, learn more about GSOC. So yeah, I would, I would like to have a brief introduction of uh, your skull. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, hey, hi, Ars. Uh, thanks for having me on your channel, first of all. Uh, so, hello everyone. Uh, I am Kovan Desai. I am a recent graduate at School of Engineering and Applied Sciences, uh, basically Ahmedabad University. Uh, I have been part of Summer of Bitcoin last year, that is 2022, and contributed to open source LNDART organization. And, and then this year, recently, I have been part of Google Summer of Code uh, with DART organization. Uh, prior to that, I was more into problem solving and stuff. So, yeah, this is about me. Uh, glad to be here, Arsh. Great. Kavan, when someone listens to the first time Google Summer of Code, right? A first year student listens to that something known as Google Summer of Code is happening. So, how should he react? I mean, what is the first thing that should get into his mind? How he should exactly start to learn more on what is the right way to start? How can he start? If he wants to know Google Summer of Code, he wants to know this competition, this uh, entire open source program, he wants to uh, go and apply for or research more about, so how can he do it? Okay, so Google Summer of Code is a couple of organizations come together, have a list of projects, uh, and they provide a list of projects to, uh, to developers around the world and uh, developers around will make some proposals that uh, I will be doing this, I, I can do this project uh, with this, 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 this timelines, this, 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 this skills, and uh, then proposals get selected, and then there is a three months coding period where people, uh, people aim to complete the project, and finally they are up with some open source uh, open source code that is that that may be live uh, i have been involved in research type of a project then uh, they, there can be a research where we can say hey community this is how we can implement uh, some robust things hmm. so uh, when we were talking about google summer of code right you mentioned something about contributions so what yes. are these contributions and kaise koi start kar sakta hai contribute karna in open source Okay, so uh, contributing to open source. So if 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 someone is totally beginner, they should like uh, go to some. Uh, everybody knows GitHub, right? Uh, so just search for some text text uh, which you like. Let's say uh, some JavaScript or anything. And uh, my preference would be go for a library or package which you use uh, in daily basis. Uh, go check out their issues. Uh, there, there always, there will always be uh, good first issues there. Uh, so one can start contributing with good first issues. Uh, there, there are, there is a, there is a trend where people just go and just uh, change readme stuff and documentation stuff. But I don't, I don't, uh, I don't think that is very, very beneficial. Rather than just go and check out the code line by line you will find something uh, which you can develop so an open source uh, uh, there might be some really really small bug or just an if else condition left right so you can just put it there and 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 show your contribution that i have i have seen this code i understand this code and i know how to how to write or implementing implement some functionalities here so that can be done yeah also, if you are someone who is preparing for your coding journey or you have someone who has started your coding journey, there is a special event that is happening that is known as Geek Week 2023. This is going to happen from 14th to 21st of October where you will get multiple different things that can help you get closer to your career path. Let's go and see how this can help you. You would see this is being conducted by Geeks for Geeks and you can see this 
uh, page in which you will be seeing uh, maximum discounts on any of the courses from 14 to 21st of October. If you want to purchase any of the courses in any category, you would find multiple different discount options from up to 35% discount. So you can check that out if you are planning to purchase any of the courses. Apart from that, they're organizing this Boundary Breaker Bootcamp in which you will be getting multiple different sessions. This course is completely for free and you will be having a new session every single day, right? So these sessions are uh, around interview preparation, around being data scientists, DevOps, around being development, how you can uh, build your tech portfolio. Multiple different sessions are there, so you can just join this. I'll give the links to all of them in the description. Make sure you do check this out. Apart from that, there will be multiple contests, multiple events, multiple coding contests happening throughout. And the final leaderboard is going to be there on 21st of October. So what are you waiting for? Check out the link in the description. Make sure you do uh, register for it and participate in all these events that are happening throughout Geek Week and get closer to your career journey. So, and how to let's say start knowing ki where to contribute right on github you will find a lot of repositories or something kaun si rep repository pick karni hai kaise suitable hogi wo repository mere liye how to decide that mm -hmm. okay so uh, let's aim google summer of code uh, here so google summer of code gives list of organizations so you can go to archives and check the list of organizations there there might there there is a huge possibility that uh, the previous year organizations uh, do take part in next year also so uh, you can also check the history of the organization that if they have taken part or not so you can choose some organization uh, and then you can uh, choose some project so project may matlab uh, many times this project list are uh, very very diverse like you don't know you cannot judge why which project can be next uh, in, in the next google summer of code right so you can just go go to the organization you can uh, pick up any project like there will be list of uh, repositories and you can just browse around the repositories and issues which find you suitable basically the thing is uh, you need to show that you understand something, you understand the code, you understand the text stack, you can build something. Uh, and contribution is not just like, uh, we are aiming for Google Summer of Code, that's the thing. But uh, not just for Google Summer of Code, open source contribution uh, is something that, which which can develop the personal skills also. That is, uh, you will hit, you code samaj mein aana chahiye, right you will go into anything uh, developing anything there will be pre-written codes so code samaj mein aayega to then you will be able to implement the uh, features next uh, upcoming features so code samaj is very very important here uh, also for contributions uh, that there are there are contributors guide and stuff you can also take help of it you can also check out a mentors list and contact the mentors they can also help you uh, guide the guide like how to contribute some mentors are really really cool and they and they just help like uh, handhold handhold you and just um, let you do contributions uh, there are uh, th this this talk was about bigger organizations let me go into some smaller organizations where there are not of lot of lot contributors right so in this type of organizations basically they have mentioned some features let's say in react there is a component like so if you know react you can directly uh, place some component and contribute open source contribute it to open source and you can show that i know react right so this is how we can go about it and if if anyone is in uh, first or second year and just don't know like some uh, basic just are really kicking up kicking start kick starting up the uh, text text then uh, they can they can uh, go for the languages uh, that is javascript c++ python and stuff uh, in this languages also uh, there are there is many scope of uh, development and uh, contributing open source uh, there are many good good first issues uh, there will be very very small bugs which you can solve and understand the code so yeah Understood, understood. And uh, is, ke alawa, is there some specific skill that is required or which skill is more preferred over other? I mean, questions aate mere paas when it comes to Google Summer of Code. So if, if, you, if you can let me know about this. Okay, so in, in terms of skills, uh, I would divide uh, 
पीपल इन थ्री फेजेस दैट इज समन हु हैड ऑलरेडी हैवीली कंट्रीब्यूटेड इन सम ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सेकेंड इज समन हु हैज सम ओपन सोर्स कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन इन सम रैंडम ऑर्गेनाइजेशन और स्मॉल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड जस्ट हैव लाइक बेसिक इंट्रो टू गिट हप एंड गिट सी एल आई एंड स्टफ एंड थर्ड पीपल थर्ड विल बी लाइक हु हैव नेवर कंट्रीब्यूटेड टू ओपन सोर्स राइट सो वेन आई वॉज इन माई सेकेंड ईयर आई डिडेंट नो हाउ टू इवन कमिट a git uh commit and git up right uh, using cli so <laughs> i had started from that uh, there uh, basically if 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 people if we consider this type of people they should they should just go to some uh, open source programs uh, there are many local open source programs being held such as uh, gulf script summer of code and stuff which just gives you a kick start to uh, kick start to some open source thing and then comes if you have if you have done couple of contributions you are good to go with larger organization in terms of gso so if the skill comes uh, when the skill like i feel uh, writing proposal is really good skill uh, proposal which appeals to the mentor and mentor basically usko aisa lagna chahiye ki bhai is bande ko hi lena hai right so yeah that is the skill of making a proposal in uh, gsa you told about writing a proposal right so kuch aise is there some specific format jisme proposal likha jata hai agar format hai to how can you outshine others in that format matlab kaise kya kya cheeze important hai us proposal ke liye and how should one go about writing that proposal uh okay so in writing a proposal uh, basically क्या होता है कि देर देर आर कपल ऑफ कपल ऑफ इंट्रो इंट्रो एंड स्टफ सो देर इज देर इज वेबसाइट बाय द गूगल समर ऑफ कोड ओनली सजेस्ट दस दिस आर द दिस इज द फॉर्मेट ऑफ प्रपोजल दिस इज द दैट इज रियली कूल आई 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 यूज द सेम फॉर्मेट but adding on to it i i i also researched about some previous contributors and took took like took some parts uh, which are really good uh, from them so uh, so the skill basically for building a proposal is uh, tell do not really brag about yourself but tell that you have done this so you can do the, you can complete the project right show them detailed timelines that is uh, मैं इस वीक में ये करूँगा नेक्स्ट वीक में ये करूँगा नेक्स्ट वीक में ये करूँगा सो दे नो दैट यू हैव रेड द कोड वंस यू नो इन एंड आउट ऑफ द रेपोजिटरी यू नो लाइक व्हाट स्टेप्स नीड टू बी फॉलोड सो मेंटर विल बी अपील्ड दैट यू कैन बेसिकली जंप डायरेक्टली जंप ऑन इट एंड स्टार्ट स्टार्ट in google some of code many many times mentors do not hand over things that is they will not let you uh, let you know that how to get commit or how to just introduce some prs and stuff but uh, so you need to show them that i have done the skills you need not to hand hold me i will directly jump on the project and complete it so there can be previous projects also that can be shown like you have built some application or a uh, website or live app Uh, and something that can be shown uh, but i feel timeline is the most important thing which mentors look at and the introduction and uh, why you should be selected for gsoc or something this three part three things are really important uh, when it comes to uh, getting selected understood understood uh, let's say if somebody gets into this program right so if if we talk about the benefits mm-hmm. so what are the benefits that one can get uh, once he or she gets selected for gsoc be it in terms of career be it in terms of money be it in terms of growth and skills okay so the there are a lot of benefits uh, frankly speaking first of all you will get a very very cool recognition uh, that you have completed google summer of code uh second is uh if 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 you are in some tier 3 or tier 2 colleges there might be only one or two person getting into google summer of code right so you will get a great recognition uh, there uh other than that in terms of career uh, many many companies do consider google summer of code as really really great achievement a prestigious achievement in terms of Uh, hiring and stuff when they hire they look for this things like google summer of code if if one has then google summer of code they have showcased their skill openly right 
so this is um, where it helps uh, specifically uh, in terms of google they had a recommendation tag uh, in whenever uh, there is an open hiring or whenever you apply they yeah uh, so so in terms of monetary aspect also uh, they give a really cool stipend that is uh, 1500 dollars for a medium size project and 3000 dollars for a uh, large project uh, in india so money money wise also monetary aspect is also really cool uh, so yeah these are the benefits basically what was your experience when you uh, got this opportunity what all you did and how exactly has been your experience uh, my ex uh, my experience was like uh, in in the end of in the end of third year i completed summer of bitcoin and uh, in the same year i also applied for google summer of code but i was not really into it that like i did not had ample amount of research for google summer of code i was like just karne ke liye kar diya hai agar lag jaye to lag jaye par aisa nahi hota hai right we need to do some research so uh, after that uh, there were placement seasons and stuff uh, and i got some winter internship uh after the winter internship uh, i was concurrently like parallelly with the internship i was preparing for google summer of code i researched about the organization so in google summer of uh, for summer of bitcoin i had uh, contributed to ln dart which is related to dart stuff and i i had built the uh, uh, library there so i thought of giving it a try for dart organization itself because i feel dart organization is something really cool for me uh, and i thought to give it a try so there was a one project which was like this project i can do it and there were list of projects but i thought uh, this one project is something i can really do it and i can showcase myself uh, really prompt in that right in the proposal so i chose that project and i i applied for applied for google summer of course send the proposal talked with mentors talking with mentors is really really important when it comes to google summer of code uh, or any open source organization if you talk with mentors discuss some things they know that you are into it and you are interested in it so that is really cool uh, then my journey was like uh, i didn't know the date when when the results were out but my friends called called me at really uh, 12 and they said you are into it <laughs> i was like damn how how come i go how how come i am selected and yeah i was selected so this was exciting but then 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 uh, it was the coding period was really good my mentors had my mentors and i had I had regular meetings weekly meetings uh, my project was basically research based project so what we used to do was we 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 would uh, we would focus on specific area we would uh, and i would complete the task by the end of the week and uh, as i said i was also having my full time intern uh, so I, I used to do google summer of code at night from 9 to 12 or something and uh, basically it was really exciting talking to uh, mentors that are really into great organizations they have good recognition across the world uh, my mentor was majid majid and he was like really into uh, dart because he was a google developer uh, gde basically google developer expert in dart so got literally so much knowledge from him uh, and and there was also the second mentor was abdullah and he had also done google summer of code twice so again uh, he had given me so much in, insightful uh, insightful learnings and, uh, basically we also we we also were doing one thing that is we always discuss uh, some question out of uh, gsoc out of our project uh, in general terms of develop developers and stuff so i get to know a lot of things from them uh and yeah basically i completed <laughs> google summer of code uh great 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 i believe this would be very very helpful for somebody who is like uh, starting on with gsoc or maybe learning more about gsoc thank you so much kavan once again for coming here sharing your journey thank you so much yeah thank you so
and like 